Hello, welcome to Health Watch. I'm Sophie Scott. This week, Australian surgeons have made medical history. Surgeons worked in shifts for 32 hours to separate conjoined twins Krishna and Trishna. They were joined at the head and the operation to separate their skulls and brain tissue was a delicate and dangerous one. The twins are now in intensive care and still not out of danger. Doctors described the final separation as a surreal moment. After more than 26 hours in theatre, the twin girls are now living separate lives. We'd like to announce that there's been successful separation of the twins. Uh, 11 o'clock this morning, the teams managed to separate uh, their brains and they are both very well. The long journey began for Trishna and Krishna when they were handed to an orphanage in Dhaka after their birth. They were brought to Australia by the Children First Foundation in 2007. It's just a huge relief. This has been uh, two years and two months that we've been planning for this and um, it's a, a great joy that we've got to this stage. But the twins then had to endure another five hours in theatre for reconstructive surgery. It's an area where getting really good cover with good healthy tissue is going to be vital because that will minimise the risk of infection. The operation was finally complete at four this afternoon. Dozens of surgeons, specialists, nurses and other medicos had been working in shifts, but the hard work has been worth it. Uh, getting to that point when, you've known, when everyone has known these girls as one yes. with their individual personalities, to see them as separate human beings is a pretty amazing moment. The girls are now in intensive care, but will not share in the joy for a while yet. They'll remain under sedation for the next few days, and it may be a fortnight before it's known how successful the separation has been. A national drug body wants to fine parents thousands of dollars if they supply alcohol to teenagers in their own home. The Australian Drug Foundation is calling for new laws on underage drinking to be considered at the Council of Australian Governments meeting next month. The proposal coincides with a crackdown by Queensland liquor stores on adults buying alcohol for minors in the lead up to schoolies week. Australia's binge drinking culture starts young. Statistics from the Australian Drug Foundation show a third of 12 to 17 year olds are boozing at harmful levels. We are aware of cases in which young people have died after being supplied uh, alcohol by people other than their parents and in other cases young people have suffered grievous injury. The Drug Foundation wants adults slapped with hefty fines for providing alcohol to minors on private property without their parents' permission. Queensland, New South Wales and Tasmania already have tough measures in place. Now we think that's a protection that's worth extending to the entire country. It's writing to parents via schools, warning of the dangers of alcohol and calling for nationally consistent legislation. We're not going to get over this problem until governments and the community and law enforcement officers act together. In Queensland, liquor chain stores and Crime Stoppers have teamed up to crack down on the secondary supply of alcohol in the lead-up to schoolies. Parents don't actually realise it's against the law uh, and, uh, and that creates some problems for our people. Sometimes um, they cop uh, a little bit of abuse as a result of refusing service. Customers are being urged to dob in adults buying alcohol for minors. Parents wouldn't give the keys of, of, to the Holden, to a 14-year-old and say go for a spin. Parents wouldn't hold up a bank to try and get some extra pocket money for their kids and say have a good time on the weekend. And there's no difference between any of those uh, circumstances in this. But some don't think it'll make any difference. It is schoolies and if they don't get it from their parents, they're going to get it from somewhere else. Schoolies starts at the end of the week. That's all for Health Watch for now. See you next week.